It's a romantic story set in the liberation of Paris and the journey not only of Paris after the war, but of each and every character. The things that we do in this show, I think, I know, are unique to a Broadway stage. The more I look at Gershwin music, the intricacy of inner voices and relationships between different aspects of the music, it becomes more brilliant to me the more I look at it. We use Paris as a fantastic opportunity to really reevaluate and look at what we could do better from New York. There was something so magical about that whole experience being in Paris. I used to walk down the road and walk the route which Lise would walk from Gallery Lafayette to the theater along the Seine. So much of our show has storytelling through movement so um, yeah, every now and then I have to as the director say okay I love these steps but maybe there's just a few too many for this moment but for the most part you know I'm, I'm working very well with myself. I think hidden in the shadows of the piece because it's, it is by and large a, uh, a piece about love and joy but hopefully in the shadows there are uh, aspects of what gives love its dimension which you know are, are questions of mortality and, and loss and and history leaving us somewhat reeling. I feel so much for every character. There's not one character that for me is two-dimensional. Madame Borel, the war has left, left a deeper, darker mark on her. And I think her age, she lived through World War I and World War II, so she brings a certain struggle. It's been such a, a gift because we play three great friends in the show, but we've actually become three best friends in real life. This is completely unique. I've never had this with a, the three leading men in the show bonded like this, and we, it's, it's helped us in, in every way. I think you can expect incredible beauty, sweet romance, and amazing dancing. Really, I think it's about finding hope in the ashes. That's what I think it's about. I think it's about finding more reasons to, to live. Because you think you're coming to see one thing, but we're giving you that plus nine million other things. That's why people go to the theater. They go to the theater to be surprised, and they go to the theater to feel things. And I, I'm almost positive we do both of those.